The hottest stories trending right now, starting with a controversial ban on strapless dresses at an upcoming eighth grade dance at a New Jersey middle school. The school's principal says those bare shoulders, well, just too distracting for the boy. <laughs> but a lot of parents don't agree, and Weekend GMA anchor, Bianca Lodrigo, you can look into this one. Hey, hey, I did. Good morning, Robin. Well, if there was one thing these eighth grade girls were looking forward to more than attending the dance, it was shopping for it. Mm -hmm. According to one student, three quarters of the girls were planning on wearing strapless dresses, something that was allowed in previous years. But this year, a new principal just laid out some new rules banning the popular fashion trend. Strapless dresses are hot on the red carpet, on MTV, and all over teen websites. But one place strapless dresses are currently off limits, New Jersey's Reddington Middle School. The school principal has placed a ban on eighth grade girls wearing the dresses to their big June dinner dance, telling parents the dresses are, quote, too distracting for boys. The decision rankled mom Melissa May. And, um, for me, it's more about the message that it's sending to the kids, um, that if you're a girl, you're judged by what you're wearing, and that if you're a boy, that you can't control yourself around young ladies who don't have a, you know, straps on their dress. May, the mother of 14-year-old Caitlin, has gone to bat for girls who want to bear a little more at the dance. Your daughter and her friends tell me you've become quite the hero at the school, the cool mom. <laughs> That's not to say that she hasn't caught some flack for standing up for strapless dresses. Some people are attacking me and saying that I'm naive and that I don't realize what young boys do. I just feel like if I'm doing a good job as a parent, then I have to trust them when they're not with me. Fellow mom Charlotte Ninehouse wrote in a three-page letter to the school superintendent that the dress code is, quote, arbitrary and a violation of every girl's fundamental rights. There is no rational basis for this restriction. There's no evidence behind it. As for the students, those we spoke with argue it's virtually impossible not to go strapless in today's strapless dress-loving world. It's everything is strapless or like spaghetti strap. Dress codes for school dances are hardly new. Schools throughout the nation are asking students to wear dresses that aren't too low cut, too short, or that bear too many cutouts. These teens say they're hopeful the school board will reverse the principal's decision when it meets next month. And if not, they have some tough fashion and decisions to make. Now, the superintendent and principal turned down our request for an interview, but in a statement said that the school district's dress code applies to school day events and evening, and they welcome input from families. Reddington School Board is likely to address the strapless dress ban matter at their next scheduled meeting on May 14th. But even Standing we're split remotely. here. Right. Well, I'm, I'm okay with it. I mean, if it's a strapless, but it's still kind of high. Yeah. I can't get excited about it. No. Elliot, you can wear a strapless dress. No. Wow. No. We were both no. saying, no. No. It's more, no, much more concerned. No, the length. No. The length. Yeah. Eighth grade. So I wanted. I want. I want it all covered. In fact, nuns habits only. That's what I want. <laughs> so you, you know what we think. We want to know what you yes. think. Do you Indeed. agree with the principal's decision to ban strapless dresses at an eighth grade dance? Vote on our website, GoodMorningAmerica.com, on Yahoo, and we'll share the results with you a little bit later. Votes already coming in. <laughs>